So I just want to make a quick video demonstrating a new feature of the model. Until now, um, if you go to, if you went to say new simulation and selected any of these options here, the model would default to a grift diffusion simulation, either in one or two D, um, to simulate uh, the device. Um, the device uh, performance, so it would solve the Griffith fusion equations for electrons, for holes, Poisson's equation, trapping, detrapping, things like that. Now, that's um, useful, in fact, very useful, but um, sometimes you don't want to perform a full drift fusion equation because you might just be trying to understand a small aspect of the device. So, you, you know, you might not be super interested in what's happening in device physics, but you might want some sort of quantitative comparison of uh, performance. Um, so I've introduced this new model called the Simple Diode Model. So if you double click on that when you make a new simulation, it will bring up this interface which looks exactly like the old interface, um, but there's an extra tab here called Circuit Diagram. <coughs> and um, this is effectively an equivalent circuit of the solar cell structure. And what's quite, and we've got, uh, we've got this component here representing the shunt resistance, this one representing the series resistance, and this representing the diode um, of the solar cell. And we can set things here like ideality factor and, and things like that. Um, and if you click here, this where it says layer P3H to PCVM, this is where the, the this diode and the circuit will get its, um, its light current from. So it'll be effectively, the model will use anything that's absorbed within the P3H to PCM layer and will feed that current into the diode model, into the diode there. So if we just click run now, we can simulate effectively a, a JV curve. So there's our JV curve. So zoom in, that's a light JV curve. Um, and what's nice about this is this um, effectively circuit model plugs straight into the model and swaps out the drift diffusion solver. So all the functions that were available for the drift diffusion solver are available for this, for this diode model. So for example, if you click um, Sun's VOC, or we want to run it in a, to make a Sun's VOC curve and click run, and we get a Sun's VOC curve. Um, and if you click, for example, Sun's JSC, click Run, we get a, a Sun's JSC. Uh, I'll just look at that, the Sun's. Where is it gone? The Sun's JSC curve, we get the Sun's JSC curve. And it's all being simulated with a simple diode model instead of a drift diffusion model. And um, also the optical beside the model plugs straight into this. So this is the optical simulation. We click uh, Yes, let's have a look at the optical simulation. So this is um, effectively wave, uh, photons absorbed as a function of position, and we can look sort of what the photons are doing in the device and things like that. And it's using this this diode model is using um, this full, effectively full solution of the of the, of the optical problem to generate the current uh, for for this. Um, so it is a simplified diode model, but the optical side is also is properly taken into account, and. Um, we can do things, for example, like if, for example, we thought um, another layer in the device was absorbing photons and acting towards the photocurrent, we can do things like add in another diode. So if we delete this here, put in a diode there, and say, imagine we were wanted to experiment and thought that maybe some of the light from the p.pss was contributing to the current, we could just set the layer to p.pss and then we'd have effectively photons generated in the um, P, in the P2H to P2M and the P. That's, that's not going to happen, that's just an example. You could, for example, imagine having a tandem cell like that with two layers contributing to the photocurrent. So we'll just set that off. Um, so we can, for example, now um, let's, let's delete this one and put this back to how it was. Um, you, could, you can experiment sort of infinitely with this and have sort of as many various components in here as you want. So, for example, imagine you thought that you had a bit of a strange contact in your solar cell and you want to investigate that, and you thought it was behaving a bit like a diode you could put in. A diode here. You can maybe put in some sort of some shunt resistance around it. Um, so let's do that and let's let's set this resistance right down. Just set that to one. Re rerun your simulation, and so you can sort of build up as a complicated model as, as you want. And of course, you can extend. Whoops, you can extend this away. So you put maybe maybe a bit a bit more series resistance in to represent something else. Um, just finish off the circuit with the ground and run that. And you can generate uh, the JV curve. So where's the JV curve gone? There's JV curve, there's JV curve. So there, there's the equivalent JV curve to it. So um, what this really enables you to do is to play around and try and um, figure out what's happening in the device in a very, very simple way. Um, so I hope that's useful. Um, 
and yeah I'll, I'll leave that video there so yeah leave comments below if you've got questions and I'll try to get back to you thank you very much